again. Tumble all around with me, hey, naughty ho. Yeah! And I'll fall at last wherever she'll go. Yeah! Tumble all around with me, hey, naughty ho. Yeah! And I'll fall at last wherever she'll go. Good evening, ladies and gents, and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I hope y'all are ready. You better be ready. All right, my lovelies, tonight I am the special DM, and we are running Cl uh, Crips of Kelimvor. So have fun. This is a one and done for those of you who don't know, so let's get right on to it. Let's introduce our players. So let's start with Glamis. All right. Uh, hi, I'm Glamis or Insidious Inc. in Discord. Um, uh, my character is a middle aged cleric of light, life. Um, he has been doing work at the monastery for years and years and years and he's finally decided to open himself up to a quest. So he's very unpracticed in the last 10 years of not adventuring. Um, me, myself, I've been role-playing for about six months or so, and I play on Geo's other campaign, Out of the Abyss, on Thursdays. Um, that's about it. Awesome, awesome. Welcome, Insidious. All right, let's move on to Basher Stonecrusher. It's, uh, it's Blasher, actually. My father was Basher, the bold stonecrusher, and uh, I'm a dwarf fighter. I... Uh, I'm, as I said, the son of Basher the Bold, who killed uh, an orc chieftain called Krug, who, uh, after a, uh, a drinking contest, murdered my grandfather, Asher the Brewer, uh, who could drink anyone under the table, and the, uh, the orc was so, uh, so embarrassed by the fact that he was drunk under the table by, by my grandfather that he cut his head off and stood on a spike. And Basher, my father, went and re took revenge on him. And I'm out in this world adventuring and trying to bring get my name for myself. And uh, I'm here to, to just bash some orc heads if possible or anything else that comes in my way. Um, I am a uh, purple unicorn on, uh, on uh, Discord. I uh, basically uh, looked for a while now, uh, though I had a bit of hiatus, I was, uh, role playing from first edition AD&D and, um, and a few other games at the time. I took a bit of uh, a break and I'm back with uh, fifth edition uh, to uh, to remember all the fun I had way back when. Okay, well, up next we have T Swizzle. Hi, I'm T Swizzle. Um, a very successful uh, wizard in, in, from the country that can't quite make it in the mainstream. Uh, lots of problem with the, the, the magical paparazzi. Uh, has a string of unsuccessful boyfriends. And um, I am an evocal wizard. Um, <laughs> I am Will from Discord, um, who's been, I think, DMing, GMing for about two decades now on off this is my rare chances to actually be a player awesome welcome to the table and finally last and most certainly not least rouge hi i'm rouge the rogue and my favorite hobbies are walking along the beach looking at sunsets squirreling away shiny objects in my pocket maybe pilfering your coffers Little things like that, you know, normal girly things. Um, other than that, I'm Furied Fate, and I play with Geo and sometimes Susie, and coming over here from uh, Fantasy Grounds College, and you can find me here uh, with Geo Wednesday mornings, sometimes, uh, playing Dragon Mountain. Awesome, awesome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, give me a second here. I'm finding my place.
Okay, well, you guys are standing at the entryway of a rundown temple. It's a temple of Kalimvor and all this wonderful stuff. You guys have been sent here by some townspeople who are, you know, they're, they're trying to, undead have risen up from this place. They're pretty sure something bad's going on down here. So you guys are here to fix this problem. So, now, as you enter what is left of the rundown temple of Kelimvar, you feel a strange kind of wave of warmth pass through your body. Now, the temple is small, and it's missing part of its roof and one wall. Uh, a priest of Kelimvar tiredly stands watch, looking over at the barrows beyond and an armored cleric stands in the center of the area next to a campfire. The cleric looks forlorn until he sees you, at which point his smile brightens and he beckons you over to him. He introduces himself as Doom Guide Soulhearth, the one who sent out the request for your aid. Now, Soulhearth is not really the most talkative person, and he gets straight to the point. This is a temple of Kelimvor, our fortress is our stronghold against the Lich Idris and its army of the undead. But it is not as secure as it should be. Grave robbers have broken into the crypts beneath the temple and have broken several of the mystical seals that ensure that those who are buried here remain at rest. I need you to enter the crypt, relight the sacred braziers that will destroy the undead, and bring back the broken seals. I can repair them, while the holy fires from the braziers will keep any more of those undead from entering the crypt. I look at him and I, I just go, thanks for getting to the point. Uh, that sounds really, too, you know, direct. Um, what should we expect from down there besides just basic undead? Is there anything that you know of? We're not really, we have not been inside the, the temple since these things started rising. We have, we have no clue what's down there, but you should be aware. The, the braziers are most likely going to be guarded. And how does one go about lighting the braziers? Is it a simple, just throw a torch in it or is there a process to it? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Give me a second. You, little cleric, come here. You're going to need some things to to open, to, to, to light these braziers. Hold on, let me grab them from the cleric. How cute. Will we will be getting charged for collateral damage by any chance? It's in McGovern. Okay, he hands. He's going to hand you guys a special dagger. At, basically, it's a special flint and steel. You're going to need this to light the braziers. Nothing else will do. Only these. I'll take it from. From him when when it's available yeah i was just looking for it it's apparently not not in this module but it's it's not part of the <laughs> part it's not you're supposed to have it but it's not here so the special tool to light the special thing is not in the module that's exactly <laughs> exactly i'm like what the fuck i'm looking over at you going where is it he goes just say they have it it's a MacGuffin. just say they have it it'll be fine there you go so here we go. That's it's I'm magical doing. and invisible. It's mad. Yes, it's magical and it's fucking invisible. There you go. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so there's a steep set of stairs that leads down sixty feet. That leads sixty feet down to the east, of, uh, east of the temple. There to a wooden door where where a Kelimvarite priest awaits you. He unlocks the door and beckons you through, handing over a small candle lantern, a heavy striking stone, and a steel rod the size of a large dagger. 
Only the spark of this rod and stone can light the braziers of balance, he says. May Kelimvor and Selun protect you. Now, the door shuts loudly behind you as the last of your group passes through it. So if you guys want to move yourselves into that. Is there a map? Or just move in? Ah, sorry. There we go. I know the, I know the chaos I deal with on my own table. I can't imagine what it looks like in your DM. <laughs> well, keep in mind, I've DM'd before, but this is my first time on Fantasy Grounds, so I'm still like... Yeah. I'm so used to not having to share a map because everybody already has it. <laughs> All right. So just right in there. Yep. Okay. Place yourselves how you want to go. I'll make a, a quick remark back towards the, sh the door that was slammed shut in behind us. And so do a pouty face and God, he was so mean. Because he had asked for your autograph. <laughs> he had no style. Oh, oh dear. You know, not all of us can afford fancy clothing. I feel like yeah. I'm missing a shit ton of pop references right now. <laughs> but I have this feeling that we're never ever getting back together. <laughs> well, I wasn't aware that you were getting part of the clergy. Are you going to write a song about it now? Oh, Jesus. But he was gorgeous. <laughs> That's full. All right. Okay. Is there a limit to how many we can make? Or are we just doing this like a drinking game? Every time we make a pop reference, we take another shot. Oh, sweet Jesus, please don't do that. You're going to end up drunk before the end of my game, and then I'm going to have to call 911 because y'all got liver damage. And I'm going to Dragging the wizard behind us. No, nope, come on, let's go. <laughs> I see that. Now, the, as I said, the door shuts loudly behind you as the last of your group passes through it, and the sound of a lock being turned on the other side is rather ominous. You stand in a short hallway to the south, a uh, thick metal porticolis gate is rusted shut, showing only a, door, a dark corridor beyond. To the north, the hallway opens up into a small room. Is there a torch or brazier or light source that we can see? In a burned out camp, uh, burned out campfire is on the east side of the room. It suggests that this area was once like a guard post of some kind. If you look around the fire, there's actually a knapsack still still there. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm going to be lying for, the knapsack. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's go there. The, you find a potion of healing. Sweet. That's why you got a rifle through everything. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. A large stone door with no handle stands to the north with a large brass lever on the wall beside it. Who's going to pull the lever? Is this is this room is this room fully explored? Like, are the east and west just walls? Yeah, the east and the east and west are just walls. You just have the porticolis behind you and the door in front of you. Um, I think that. Oh, she wants to do it. Yeah. I'll just move up here, and. Get ready to attack whatever comes through the door if there any, is anything. I'll look around to the party and say, ready for it? Always. Ready if as will ever be. All right. Now, 
When the lever is pulled, a disturbingly loud scraping sound rings out. Dust billows as the thick stone door slides upwards, revealing the area beyond. A magical torch around the corner of the hallway lights the way forward. So nice of them to uh, include magical lighting in the event. Oh, yeah. Thank you, McClancy, for the bits. Can we see anything in that yeah, corridor? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Give me a second. Um, and then talk back to the rest of the crowd. He'll, it looks clear, as clear as it can look down here, but everything probably knows what, that we're coming. So, I guess I'll move up here and see if I can see anything more of the, if I can see any more of the room. Ooh, that's that over yeah. there on the right. I, I follow. The statue. Two doors stand ahead of you. All right, you have a metal portacollis gate to the west and a stone door straight ahead to the north. If you look through the portacollis, another corridor extends uh, 20 or so feet before making a T intersection. Now, a brass lever stands beside the portacollis on the west wall. Yeah, let's wait on that. That one might make even more noise. Um, perhaps I want to go over to the statue and take a look at it and see if I can figure out what it is. It's anything special. Okay, you take a look at the statue. Um, you'll notice that by the statue's feet is the first of the crypt's broken seals. Can we repair it or is it just broken? It's it's broken. The priest said that, don't forget the priest yeah, said to bring that it back. you had to bring it back. Oh, okay, then I'll, I'll grab it. All right. He's at it. At my point. Broken seal number one. Did the, did the police say how many seals there are? I guess we, we just keep going around finding seals. No, he did not say how many there were. Oh, <clears throat> well, there's more room over here. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. No, you're fine. You're fine. Um, so I tell the guys, hey, guys, there's another room over here. Let's check it out. You first. Please go first. All right. Does this um, lever look like it's a, got a mechanism that points towards one of, opening one of the doors yes it, seeing as it's on the west wall next to the port next to the portacollis it looks like it would probably open the portacollis what's crypt oh wow i'm dead well, alert Okay, this huge chamber is supported by big arched pillars and features a ceiling about 10 feet high. Three ornate sarcophagi stand along the far wall, one of which has had its lid removed. There are two torches along the side walls that fill the room with magical lights, revealing a door on the north and south walls. Now, in the center of the room, a waist-high marble brazier is carved with the symbol of Kelimvor and has a mutilated body sprawled before it. 
There's wood stacked and ready for lighting within the brazier, suggesting that the body might have been an acolyte attempting to light it. A scroll lies next to the body. <laughs> Check it out. It's a dead body. Uh, so which of yeah, the but- sarcophagus is open? The top, middle, or bottom? Um, okay. We're going to go with the middle one. Awesome. I'm totally going to jump inside it because this is the first time and only time I'll be into a, a coffin like this. Before you do anything... Oh, dear. I need you all to roll me a perception check. Oh, this is going to be lovely. Huh, Rouge, I just saw your chat. <laughs> I didn't know you were coming for seals. <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't say that again. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, T Swizzle, <laughs> I'm going to whisper you because uh, you're going to be the only one who sees this. Oh, my. So my elven eyes catch sight of something, and I will um, point and shout in that. Look out! What? Look out, look out for what? My next single I crouch. <laughs> oh god, your next I, single! I crouch, ready to pounce wherever. I I start trying to light the brazier. There's something in the shadows. Wait, towards the sarcophagus I'm trying to climb into? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. I'm trying. I'm getting there. Sorry. <laughs> I was just so excited because, I mean, this would be the first and only time I get to be rich enough or pretend to be rich there enough go, to guys. be in a sarcophagus. Oh, oh God. Shit. My I'm life. Really, really trying to light the brazier now. Really. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm right next to one. In you fact, are I probably indeed. just climbed Look into his that. bed. What's Look at my... me. What are my next words going to be, folks? Roll initiative. You guys are roll initiative. Everybody roll initiative. It's a party. Ooh, it nice. is a party. You might be able to run away with that initiative. <laughs> I hope so, because, I mean, I'm not used to climbing into bed with dead people. <laughs> well, I mean, when I climb out of bed, they might be dead, but not, you know. Well, <laughs> not, they, do say the that, they do say that necrophilia will never die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Are you sure you're a rogue and not a bard? I mean, those jokes are great. <laughs> I might have to take a class in Bard or sometime multi class here. All right. Well, R- uh, Rouge, you're up. What you going to do? So I made it into the. Okay, I'm already here with uh, Shambles. Um, and I'm guessing he already sees me, so there's no. Point oh, yeah. They back. see you. There's. Yeah, they, they see you. As soon as you guys make it about halfway across the room, they pop out and they're all ready for you. I will, let's see. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just attack zombie number seven in front of me. All right. All right, that's a hit. Ah, sad little hit. Okay. Bonus action, disengage, and then movement to run the fuck out of here. There you go. Behind the cleric. 
Oh, and of course you disengage. Yeah, of course I would disengage. What kind of idiot wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> she runs me the grill cleric like, help, help, help. <laughs> oh, did you start us on the combat tracker? Because I can't advance my turn. There we go. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. Hiding behind. I can't hide yet, but I will no. eventually. Let's see here. Zombie number one. All right. So he is going to move up to there. And that is all he can do for right now. Zombie 16. Don't forget to approve. Okay, he is going to move up to there. And he is going to swing at Rouge. Oh, ouch. Oh. And Rouge is going to die. Oh, no. Oh, and you take nine. Ouchie. It hurts. Save me. <laughs> All right. Zombie 14 is going to come right up here and attack Blasher. His butter scratched. Zombie six doesn't like Glamis touching that. Not a real big fan of that. Oh, wow. Two points of damage. All right, Glamis. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop my channel divinity and cast turn undead. So everybody within all the undead within 30 feet of me, which I believe is everybody. Target and go. That's, that's everybody there. Wisdom saving throw. All right. You've got right, so. some successes. You've got some failures. Go ahead and... Do your thing. Okay. All right. Then, um, can I use my bonus action to start preparing to light the brazier? I will allow it. Awesome. Um, and that's all I can. I'm not going to move. So that's all I can do. Okay. T-Swizzle. Seeing that my band are in, sorry, my group, I mean, my team, <laughs> are in dire straits. Should we move forward? And I shall cast the spell. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll use my movement to point where it's going to be. Aim okay. to cast a flaming sphere there. All right. Target who it's going to hit. Everybody. Yay! It's, it, it's a concentration spell that gets uh, that stays there, and I can roll it around the area. Okay. Um, I think I see. Let me just read through what this thing does again. <laughs> Five foot sphere, uh, diameter sphere uh, appears in an unoccupied space of your choice, lasts the duration of, of concentration up to a minute. 
Uh, any creature that ends its turn within five feet of the sphere must make a dexterity saving throw, and they uh, take two d six five damage on the failed, or half as much on the successful. As a bonus action, I can roll. I can move it around the ram creatures with it. So I cast it there. Okay. And I will move it up to thirty feet. So I'll roll it into zombie eleven. All right, target him. That looks like a success for that save. So um, he takes 2d6 halved. Okay, roll it up. How does one do this again? <laughs> there you go. All right, and we're going to give you an S. Not quite that big. <clears throat> your yeah. And you said you were moving oh, to cool. Zombie 11? Okay. Yeah, so I'll roll it into Zombie 11, um, but it's uh, it looks like that's five feet of movement, so I'll keep mm -hmm. it where it is now um, to affect all those three dudes. And okay. my turn is done. All right, pass your turn. Oh, I forgot how to do that. It's the little down arrow at the bottom of the combat tracker. There gotcha. we go. Okay, zombie number 10. And he's turned, so he should have yes. to just try to try to run away. Well, he can't he can't really go anywhere because he can't he can't get closer to you, but he, he can't really right. he's got nowhere to go. But he can't do anything. Flasher! Yes. Uh, so zombie fourteen is also turned now. If I if I don't disengage with him, will he still get a, an opportunity attack or not? Just um, uh, because he's turned, no, he will not. Just jumping in there. Zombie ten is going to take make a saving throw against the flaming sphere because he's down in five feet of it. Alrighty. Uh, what? Sorry, sorry to cut in. No, that's that's fine. What save is it? Uh, it's a deck save uh, event. Let me make the roll. I think I've got the yep, sheet. Roll right it up for him. Okay. Well, I'm just thinking maybe we need to sort of get get closer to the um, the corridor so we can funnel these zombies. Uh, so. It looks a little bit sort of uh, cowardly, but I think I'm going to retreat okay. after I've wha after I've whacked that zombie once, and then I'll just run back to the, uh, the well, corridor. Keep, keep in mind that hitting him will break the turn. Uh, okay, so maybe not. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to actually uh, hit anything. I don't think there's any zombies that are, that are not that are not turned. I can't see any. Which ones are unaffected by the turning? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought okay. that it would have done that automatically. Um, if I go up to the chat, it looks like looks like all zombie. of them are turned. Yeah, um, that's not correct. It should be only. Yeah, it so should not, be all of them. Yeah, not eleven. Not fourteen. Can I, can I turn that off, or do you have to? Oh, I turn it off for the ones that aren't turned. Yeah, you go ahead and turn it off for the ones that aren't turned. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the zombie next to me is, is actually not turned, so I can hit him freely. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that then, but with a view to go back to that corridor. Swing and miss. Oh, oh, ouch. You see, so, I knew I shouldn't have hit anything. I, you know, I'm just like, 
so you wind up with this great mighty swing all the way back to like Cleveland and the zombie just like does that matrix thing and leans back and oh. you just whoosh. There was a banana peel on the floor. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, well, that zombie is not is going to hit me anyway. So I'm going to actually just move now and let him have the attack of opportunity. Okay. Okay, I fixed it. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm moving there. So he hit me. Great. Oh, yeah, he hit you. Ooh, ouch, for seven. All right. Go ahead and pass your turn. Okay, zombie number seven is going to gonna move right up behind his buddy there. Zombie number nine. Gonna start making his way up. All right, and we're back up to the top of the round. Okay, I'm gonna try it number 16 and poke at him with my sharp stick. Okay. <laughs> nice hit. Nice damage. Then disengage and run like a little girl. Okay. <laughs> Behind the wizard. <laughs> That's as far as I can get with my full movement. And <laughs> the other direction's all dead walkers, so you know. All right. And so we've let we've we've left the cleric in the middle of a room full of zombies. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, part of some of them are turned, so they're gonna be running away, and he's got like a shield and faith and armor. You know. Hopefully, he has a shield, faith, and armor. Okay. Uh, do I have a shield? All right. T swizzle. I'll uh. Oh, I'll crap. <laughs> I don't have a shield. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'll uh, I'll fist bump Rouge as he runs past me, and I'll go. <laughs> um, we belong together. You belong with me. I will use my bonus action to roll the the ball of fun. Okay, where are you rolling it to? into zombie number seven. Let me do, just do that thing for a Okay, roll it up for zombie number seven. Three. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. And for my main action. Uh, how do you cancel the movement? There we go. I'll target zombie 16 and I will attack him with a uh, firebolt. All right, roll it on up. Hit. Nice. Uh, 
Oof. Uh, my turn is done. I think actually I will move behind the fighter. Okay, pass your turn. Okay, zombie number six. He is really not happy with Glamis. And he hits him for a whopping four points. I'll burn him with my with, with my uh, flaming sphere. Yep. While you're doing that, zombie number seven is going to right there, and he is going to attack Glamis. And he hits for another four. Okay. <laughs> I know they're doing oh it. so much damage here. It it matters because I can only do that like a turn and then I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, zombie number one. He's going to start moving up there. Zombie number 10. Going to start. Well, no, he's. Is he still turned? Turn uh, they're turned for a minute. Okay, so he's not going to do anything then. Because he can't get any closer to you. Mm. Yeah, I like how the farthest ones away are turned, and the one with the ones close to me are like, no, nope, we don't care. Yep, all right, <laughs> zombie 16, where are you? 11, 16. He is actually trying to move as far away from Glamis as he can possibly get, which is right in that corner there. Let's see here, zombie 11. Who is not turned is moving on up. And Blasher, we're back around to you. Okay, so I am going to help my friend, the cleric. Okay. And then I'm going to bash zombie 11. All right, go for it. Nice hit. All right, all right. And, ooh, don't want to use an action surge. I don't know. Uh, yes, I think I'll use that. I'll use my action surge now. Oh, maybe not. No, no, that's fine. I'll, I'll pass now. That's cool. Okay. Glamis, we're around to you. Okay. Um, how difficult does this brazier look to light? Like, is it possible to do it in one turn or does it take multiple turns? No, it takes one turn. Then I'm going to light the brazier. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Uh... Roll me a sur like just a survival check. Christ. Okay. 
Yeah, you you can't get you can't get the hang of that that steel rod and and knife thing. You just you're not quite you you you're scraping them together, but they're not no sparks. Okay. Um. Then I'm going to use my bonus action. I'm going to cast Healing Word on myself. Okay. Roll it on up. Just target. Oh, that's as best as it could be. Yep. All right, and that's my turn. All right. Zombie fourteen. Now open for business. He's moving himself right there, and he's going after Blasher. Come get some. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> he likes you. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? That was almost <laughs> a nat 20. And he swings and he misses. Yep. He just misses. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um. Okay, zombie DM, number uh, nine is running his ass away. Uh, I forgot that because I'm life domain, all my healing spells get a plus two, I think, to it. All right. Uh, so add, yep, go ahead and add, add yeah, that. go ahead and add your two. All right, thank you. Zombie nine runs himself away. And we're back to the top of the round. With Rouge. God, everybody moved away. How can I hide and use you as meat shields? <laughs> meat shields aren't supposed to move. Is that what you're trying to say? That's preferable. Just saying, yeah, preferable. Okay, so I'm gonna use my short bow. And is there a sneak attack on short bow if I'm targeting zombie fourteen? Yes, because you have an ally within five feet. Sweet. So sneak attack, yep, short yep, yep. bow. Nice. Ooh. Ouch. Then I'm just going to step behind the statue and use my bonus action to hide. Okay. Do I roll stealth for that? Yes, or... please. I haven't played a, a rogue in forever. <laughs> you're pretty sure, you think you're hidden really well. You think you're, you're <laughs> hidden awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I'm totally hidden. No one can see me totally behind the statue wall. It gets ridiculous. Totally. All right. Zame number six is going to go after Glamis again. No, he's not. Oh, third time's charm. <laughs> Zombie number one is going to come up here and is going after T Swizzle. Oh no. But you were hidden so well. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's they want your autograph, you know, that's what it is. <laughs> your adoring fans. <laughs> All right. You've taken five. I'm just burning that zombie. Yeah, zombie that's six. fine. Zombie number ten. Uh, zombie number ten is... Is that one that was... Oh, no, it took damage, so it's no longer turned. I'm going to start moving his way up. All right, Glamis! All right, damn it. We're going to try to light this flipping brazier again. Roll me a survival. Ha ha! You light the brazier. Thank the Lord and Lathander. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so that's lit. And I have no attack bonus action, I don't think. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and just post up here. Yep. All right. As the brazier is lit, the room fills with this awesome and wonderful light. Now I get to see if the, the old man upstairs was lying to us about the, the factors of those braziers. Why are they not? Yeah, just add Sorry, adding damage. Sorry, Rogue or Rouge, put your hit points back to what they were. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I mean, I know you didn't like me, but really? Okay, you see, oh, these these zombie flesh like just starts falling off of them as soon as this brazier is lit. So, like zombie leprosy. Yeah, basically. Oh, that's awesome. I guess he wasn't lying. Yeah, exactly. That had been really bad for my character if nothing happened. Nah, you would have been fine. <laughs> yeah, just good. <laughs> yeah, you'd be able to shake it off. <laughs> Maybe I'll play the drinking game when I listen to the podcast. Right. Or the Twitch after we're all done. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to play with beer though because you're doing you're doing that's five already. <laughs> nah, you have to do shots. Oh god, it's not yeah. Fast I, you fall on the ground. I have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I got one other load. I got one loaded up for a few minutes' time. One second. <laughs> All right. So, a bunch of these little bastards disappear. Just fall down. Moldering, disgusting piles of flesh. All right, that one done did his thing. Jay Swizzle. So I got a zombie in front of me. Is that right? I need to make a concentration check as well. You still there, Dan? Yes, yes, I am. Cool. Um, I got 
hit by that zombie number one, I think. Is that right? Yep, you sure did. Cool. So I need to make a concentration check. Yes, to please. My... So how does one do that? Okay, so rolling a con it's it's basically it's just a constitution check. Look at that, you made it. That's a really good roll, right on. Okay. Exactly. Oh, I got a zombie in front of me, so zombies couldn't get a firebolt. There you go. Fire away. You oh, still hit. hit him. Ow! Look what he made you do. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> and he, Smile. Falls, he falls down into a pile of smoldering flesh. Kind of smells like bacon in here. <laughs> you mean as the sparks fly? Exactly. <laughs> all right, is that uh, all you're doing? And then for my bonus action, I'll roll my uh, my golden ball into zombie six. All right, roll it up. Ooh, he failed the save. Ugh, he's dying. Okay, that one is... Uh... Now it really smells like rancid bacon in here. Is that all you got? That's what I'm doing. All right. All right, zombie 16. He is still turned and still trying to claw his way through the wall to get away from Glamour. Blasher. Okay. So we've only got zombie 10, but I can't reach him. So it'll have to be one of the turn zombies. I think it'll be 16. All right. And then I'm going to bash, bash him up. All right. You hit. I still nice. And you do indeed bash him into the wall. Okay, uh, do I have any more movement left? I think uh, I can't remember uh, how much I used up. 15? I think I've got maybe I think it 10, was 15. 10 I think you've got 10 more feet left. All right. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no worries. All right, now, T-Swizzle, before you go. You see the other two zombies fall down. Thank you, Fate, for the cheer. Hooray. Yay. Okay, so you have cleaned the zombies out of this room. What would you like to do? Looks like we're out of the woods. I believe as long as we stay in the room with the brazier, we should be okay from undead. Doesn't mean there's not anything else down here, but no more of the zombies, at least. Nope, um, no more of the zombies. All right, I'm going to run across and try to open a sarcophagus. Give me a strength check. Should I help her? No, no, no. Let me do it by myself. Okay. I'm an independent person. <laughs> it it kind of starts to wiggle a little bit, but you, you 
you can't quite get it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go pout and be like, <laughs> <I can't." laughs> oh, Did you end up? Did you go through the open one already? And in, in there? Well, you know, I haven't gone through it, but I tried to lay in it because it's like, ooh, I get to pretend to be rich and have a sarcophagus and a fancy tomb. I'm dead. What the hell? T says, or we'll drink a, we'll drink a potion. Okay, um, Glamis, you notice at your feet there is a scroll. Yes, yes, that's right. Um, can I pick it up and read? Okay, it is in the party sheet. You also find another um, steel rod and striking stone. Grab that one. Okay, now you guys will notice that the stone doors to the north and south of you are both open. Oh, so are they already open or are they shut or? No, they, are, are, they were already open. I wonder. I have, um, I have a candle in my uh, pack. Can I light it in the brazier? And see if that will like take some of the properties with it you're most welcome to try okay so i'll expend a candle and i'll have a lit candle nope it will not light okay that's worth a shot it was worth a shot Is there anything I'd else like to look, besides? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, I was, what I wanted to do was look inside the sarcophagus, see if what's in there. Which one, the open one? Yes, the open one. Um, the only thing that's left in there are just moldering bones. Yeah, that's why you gotta open the ones that are closed so we can, you know, loot the dead bodies, pull out their gold teeth, fillings, whatever. Okay, do you want me to come and help you push that uh, that sarcophagus open? Please and thank you. Okay, then let's do it. So, what do we need to do to start, try and push open the sarcophagus? Okay, I need the two of you to make me a to make me strength checks at advantage. I am so mighty. Look at me with my you, little stature. You open, you do indeed open the sarcophagus. And I will go ahead and climb inside. The I only... think there's probably something else inside. Well, I mean, I, I don't think I can really look over the edge. It's kind of taller than me, so I'm going to have to climb in there and dig around. The only thing that is in there are moldering bones. Not even like a gold tooth. Nothing. Not even a gold tooth. God. They can afford fancy coffins, but they can't afford fancy stuff inside their coffins. <laughs> maybe they, okay, there's one more on the bottom. Maybe they can afford the dental care. <laughs> <laughs> right, the dentist. Okay. Um, while they're doing that, is there anything else that we can see in the area? Um, like I said, like like I said, you you can uh, T Swizzle. You can see into this room up here. Ooh, ooh. and you guys can kind of see into the room on the. So are we opening the other sarcophagus and then going on to the other room, or? Does this look like a chest? Yes. It does indeed look like a chest. 
Oh, Lady Rouge. Yeah, what? What's going on? What's happening? Uh, there's some. Uh, can you come over here, please? And she like gesture towards you. There's some woman's talk. Just, just two seconds. Me and Blash are doing this thing over here with this closed sarcophagus. Oh, but this is far more important. What, like shiny bits important, or kind of like more dead people important? Oh, just not involving men. <laughs> I don't know if I swing that way, but okay. <laughs> All right, I'll go take a look. What's going on? I'll um, gesture towards the uh, chest. Who, yours, mine, or the one in the room? <laughs> Sorry. Zing. I'll go inside the room and start investigating the chest. And I, and I will start feeling self-conscious about my body. Okay. <laughs> this chamber features an, an features a nortly carved bas relief along the walls, showing the symbol of, of Kelimbor alongside magical inscriptions. The same inscriptions cover a sarcophagus against the far wall, which is far more ornate than those seen in the main crypt. The sarcophagus is set with large red gems just beneath its lid. Holy crap. So this is the rich person. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll gesture, I'll, I'll place my finger on my, on my lips and then, and then gesture to the, the, the cleric, as in, shh, <laughs> he might get upset. Oh, all right. Give me a moment. Hold on. So I'm going to ignore the chest, <laughs> walk to where the sarcophagus, get my little dagger out and see if I can wedge these rubies out. Roll me a DC check or a DC save or a dexterity save. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to see. I feel like I have something that gives me advantage on this. Maybe you might sort of. Uh, yes, I do. My uh, Dungeon Delver feet. Okay. Okay, you said dexterity? Yes, please. Oh, God, they're awful, but not that bad. Okay. As you start trying to pry this lid off the sarcophagi... Wait, wait, not the lid, just the ruby. Yeah, as soon as you try start trying oh, to take okay, the sorry. rubies off... The, the lid explodes and you see dun 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 and you see that oh god Oh my god, this motherfucker's gonna take my rubies. <laughs> Everybody, roll initiative. The hell is that? Oh god, he's gonna go first, too. Yeah, I don't know why I rolled the advantage initiative. Sorry about that. Let me, should I try again? That's okay. There you go. About the same. All right, Susie, give it to me. How bad is it going to hurt? Oh, what the hell? I don't know. I'm just uh, I'm just trying to get to the top of the freaking <laughs> round. It's Click just next. Do you have the thing where the initiative okay. jumps around? Yes, I do. 
Okay. okay so Glamis, you are going first. All right. Um, let's see. Help, see. help. Um, I'll use my 30 feet of movement and head up there. 30, yep, 30. Okay, good. And I can't attack him with my hammer, but I will, or my mace, but I will cast Sacred Flame okay. on the lights. Okay. Ah, damn it. Okay, so half damage. Didn't it? Why did it uncharge the light? Oh, because he's on the combat track. Okay. There is. Okay. There you go. And with my bonus action, I'm going to yell at Rouge to get back in the main room. Head back to the light. Okay. Um, well, let's see. I am going to go ahead and be like, stab you with the rapier. Then I'm going to disengage my cute, cute little butt and run away. Okay. All right. This white is so not happy. And he's going to move himself right up here and uh, target Glamis. And he's going to swing at you two times. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Ow. And he misses oh. with his second attack. Oh, thank goodness for that. All right, T Swizzle. Oh, critical was only like six damage. Might have been a crappy roll. You got lucky there. Mm. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> uh, with a flurry, I will launch magic missiles. All right. Okay. And I will step out of the um, step here. All right, bless you. Okay. okay. I'm going to go there for advantage. Yes, you are. <laughs> no way no way come on so you go to you go to swing at the boy you trip over your own two feet but manage to catch yourself against the wall so you're good <laughs> okay i'm i'm doing action surge now i think um okay. and they roll it again Better. Much better. Oh, oh, oh. oh there you go. And there the you go. white disappears, leaving behind a crumbling, moldering pile of rags. Thank heaven for that. 
Yep. The chest is open now, right? Yes, it is. And there are four gemstone, large gemstones in the sarcophagus. Mm -hmm. I just pick one up and wave it at Ruth. Is this what you were looking for? <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I dropped that. You know, <laughs> like I would drop a contact and be like, oh. Yeah, I, I saw that. I saw she dropped it. Did you know? Can, can I just mention something really obvious here? I mean, didn't the uh, the priest up, up top say that you know this whole problem started with tomb robbers, and here we are robbing a tomb? What are you talking we're, about, tomb robbers? <laughs> we're not we're not robbing anything. I we're think it's contributing to the economy here. <laughs> it's trickle down, is it? <laughs> it? It's taking money out of savings and putting it back into circulation. <laughs> My bad, my mistake. Sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, if you guys want to, if you guys want to go the tomb robin route, that's that's up to you. That's right. It's up to us. What next, my peeps? Oh, yeah. We we'll head down here and see what we can see through the door there. Also, do we see anything down this corridor that we're in, or is this, is this room as much as there is that we're that's in? As, at the that's as much of it as there is. Okay. Is there a brass lever next to this door too? This this door is open. Oh, it's open. Mm -hmm. This small chamber features a single sarcophagus, more ornate than those seen in the larger crypt. A destroyed zombie is sprawled at the foot of the sarcophagus, its splintered skull all but removed by some massive object. In front of you, you see that uh, in front of you, you see that object. It's a spear coming out of the one of the two holes in the wall, which must have once been part of a trap guarding this area. So what would you like to do? I'll take a step in. Okay, you take a step in. You hear a click, but nothing happens. Oops. Sure, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> um, it's probably like a loose tile or something. <laughs> is, is there any inscription on this, this sarcophagus? It's just really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Well, I look at Rouge and I go, do you want to open this one too? Yes, please and thank you. Alrighty, so strength get over here and help me then. <laughs> yep, roll me up those strength checks at advantage. Okay, between the two of you, you struggle a little bit, but you get it off. Another giggity. What was that? I said giggity. <laughs> moldering, more moldering bones. That's it? That's, that's it, nothing shiny. Ugh, All person. right. Then I'll start heading out this way to the other two rooms. We gotta get this place explored and get this problem okay. dealt with. I guess we don't wanna search for any secret compartments or secret doors or anything. I can give it a, a once over. I get advantage on checking for Yep, go ahead secret. and roll me your per roll me your perception. The only thing you find are the remains of a broken trap. Yes, somebody's fat ass stepped on it. That was you, you're pretty sure that's what that click was when Glamis stepped in the room. My fat ass. 
<laughs> with all your armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know, meat shield number one. <laughs> Is that what I'm we're the going first to meat shield, guys? <laughs> Is that what we're going to refer to him as now? Meat shield one and meat shield two. <laughs> yes, and then twig over here. Twig. You know, oh, tea swizzle. Yeah. So we going north or e west? Uh, west. Mm -hmm. What do you think meet shield number two? Northwest. Northwest. <laughs> do you want to go north or do you want to go west? Do both of these doors have um levers? Only the one on only the porticolis on the western wall has the lever. I shall go over. Can't we you just like to touch things, don't you? Like all the levers. Yeah, I'll go over and grasp the shaft of this lever. Oh God! And 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 pull it. Sorry. Okay, we're not going to stack <laughs> tokens, guys. Such a macho. Oh. Okay. Get out of the way. As you pull this lever, the porticullis does indeed open. It grinds and creaks and squeals and makes just a hideous cacophony of noises. And this is what you see. Okay. I'll take a step right there and try to peek around the walls, all the corners there. Okay, let me open a little bit more for you. That is what you see all right and you see an intersection of corridors that feature two stone doors with a lever between them a sarcophagus in the alcove to the north and a statue of kelimbor with a broken seal in his hands to the south i'll go pick up that one too okay poor little seal all broken and shattered There's more dead bodies. Let me go up there and see what's going on. Okay. Did I hear anything from behind the doors? Give me a listen check. A uh, perception. Yep. I knew it meant. Hmm. Which door are you listening to, north or south? The one I'm right next to, the south one. Okay. Okay. To, you can hear kind of a skittering. Okay. Um, I tell the party that, like, sounds like something behind here. Um, let's not open this until, like, last. Oh, that's a good idea. So smart. So <laughs> I will, um, I guess, listen to this one right here in front of me. She has jokes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, as I said, a bod. <laughs> okay, you, you don't hear anything behind this door. Oh, this one sounds clear, so I'll open the door. Okay, do you pull the lever? Of course. Oh, no. Lucky game show hostess. Both doors pop open. No. <laughs> yes. Bless her. Bless her. <laughs> she didn't listen. <laughs> I know. What could I say? <laughs> okay. Can I pull the lever again? No. 
<laughs> Something oh else might God. happen. More doors will open. Do Stop you it. want to pull the lever again? <laughs> yes. Door shut. See? Problem solved. Oh, Jesus, criminy. <laughs> okay. Let's leave that alone until later. Okay. So that's what you guys want to do. You want to leave that alone for later. I guess if the boys are too scared to go in there. It's not too scary. I just want to make sure there's nothing else up here that can come at us. Oh, oh, you don't like it from getting it behind? Yeah, I don't like getting it from behind. Okay. The corridor opens up into a large chamber with the look of a chapel. Let me open that up for y'all. Lamas would feel right at home. I do. It's arched. This is more what I'm used to. <laughs> its arched ceiling rises to a height of 30 feet and magical light shines from the north. The southwest corner of the chamber holds seven plain sarcophagi with wooden coffins stacked between them. Many of those are rotten and broken open. A large support pillar has a statue of Kelimborn next to it with a broken seal at its feet. Bones are scattered everywhere, but of more immediate concern... Skeletons? Yeah, they're popping out from behind the, the pillars. Yeah. It's hide and seek, man. There it's okay. Let them let them get funneled in here, and we can just blast them. That might be the best idea. Roll initiative. What the hell is up with my crap initiative? Oh, geez. It's all that heavy armor. It slows you down. <laughs> Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Round two. All right. This pretty, pretty, pretty number one. Okay, so this skelly skelly is kind of kind of move his way around here. Start moving on up. All right. Skeleton number two. Gonna move on up there. Number five. Gonna start moving on up there. All right, Blasher. So I'm gonna hold my action. Um, so if a skeleton comes near me, near enough for me to hit him, I will hit him. Okay. Okay, number 18 is going to start moving his way on up. Same thing with number 13. And number 3. And number eight. God, these guys are going fast. Skeletons go fast. Wow. No, they can only fit in All that right. corridor two at a time at least. <laughs> Rouge. 
All right. So run up between Glamis's legs, and I'm going to shoot the skeleton with my bow and arrow. All right. That's a hit. And that's a damage. Aha! And then I'm going to run away for the last 10 feet of my movement. Okay. Alright, T-Swizzle. Shall move 10 feet. And I will cast a spear. I'll place another flaming sphere down here. You have a token for it, or right there. Awesome. Okay. Um, for my so it's cast for my bonus action. I will uh, bump it against the uh, skeleton number eighteen. Okay, roll it up. Okay. Okay, there you go. All right, skelly number six. Since all his buddies are joining in the fight, he wants to get in on it too. All right, Lamus. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop off the uh, Sacred Flame on Skeleton number 18. Roll it up. So he takes half damage. Okay. Oh, uh, come on. Wah, wah, wah. Wah. Yep. And as uh, my bonus action, I'm going to cast um my spiritual weapon okay which is a i'm gonna make it a hammer a hammer mm -hmm. and i can't um i have to i need a, a token if you want to put it anywhere around the sphere that'd be fine okay and he, i'm gonna move it all right, I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to attack um, skeleton number 18 with the hammer. Okay. So there. Oh, see you miss. All right. Well, at least he's out there. Okay. Not moving. Okay, skeleton number three. Does the hammer dissipate if it takes damage? Um, He's a moving on up. Mm. All right, Blasher. Yeah, I'm going to still hold my action until something comes near me, near me to hit. Near enough to hit. Yep. Okay. All right, Glamis. Ooh, random initiative. All right. Yep. Um, and no, uh, the weapon can't take damage. It doesn't say anything about that on the in there. So um I'm gonna start off with my bonus action and I'm gonna hit re hit that same stupid skeleton. Okay. He's he's going down. All right. Take Maybe. him down. Nope. <laughs> oh, okay, so we cast a uh, sacred flame. Okay. And he succeeds, so he takes half damage. A one again, oh <laughs> flipping heck. Okay, well, this is rigged. This is rigged. <laughs> Such a poor right. performance. You're like my last boyfriend. Ah, <laughs> all right. Skeleton 18. He's gonna come up here because he's about tired of getting hit and he's about tired of getting burned by that thing. And he's going to attack Glamis. 
does my uh, my my reaction trigger now? Is he within? Ooh. He is. He is within five feet of you. So do I just? Can yeah. I now hit him? Yeah. 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 All right. Ow. There you go. Pow. There you go. He raises his hand to swing at Glamis, and you just knock his lock right off. That's how you do it, Glamis, like a real man. That's how that, egg, <laughs> like a real dwarf, you mean. All right, number five. Is... I have performance anxiety. <laughs> Moving on up. For a whopping four points. Skeleton 13. He's going to move right on up. Skeleton 8. Moving on up there. T Swizzle. Oops, hang on one second. Uh, so it's you can get eight and thirteen. Third. Okay, cool. And three. Well, damage is already done for three, so I was just eight and thirteen. Nice. Okay. Um, for a skeleton five, is that still alive? Was it the one that just got um, smashed to bits? I believe that is the one that just got smashed to bits. Oh, nope. That's the one that's standing right in front of Glamis. Okay. Well, that one's going to get a firebolt to the face. All right. Do it up. Oops. Ooh, I think I... Just... Let me try that again. Yeah, roll, roll that again for me. W one die this time, please. So skeleton five. No, oh, this is the one that smashed the bits, isn't it? No, skeleton five is the one that's right in front of Glamis. Ah, sorry. That's okay. <sighs> oh, and it whizzes over his left shoulder. Okay, in which case I, for my bonus action, will make my uh, Flaming Sphere bump into Skeleton number three. All right. Ooh. Ouch. Ah, uh, my turn. Okay. All right, skeleton number one. Moving on up. Rouge. Oh, they're so close now. I it rolling two guys. Uh, sorry, dudes. All right. Okay, so let me go ahead and hop over here, and I can use sneak attack to attack number five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Because I'm so mighty and awesome and disengage and run right behind Glamis. So 
run up, run back. You're sticking where you are. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Skeleton number two. He is going to move right up there. Number six. Can't get past his buddies. Skelly one. Can't get past his buddies. And T-Swizzle. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Skeleton number three is going to get a firebolt. All right. No, he's not. No, he's not. I'll bump the sphere into skeleton 13. Okay. Now my turn is done. So same again for me. I'm going to hold and wait for a skeleton to come near and then I'm going to bash him. Okay. All right, skeleton number six does nothing because he can't get through his buddies. Skeleton eight can't get through the Glamis. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roll the damage. Very nice. And another one bites the dust. Yeah. Down he goes. Super. All right, Rouge. Okay, so with my little small size, sneak around Glamis, pop a shot off at zombie or skeleton number one with my short bow. Okay. Oh, nice. nice. Murder him. Yep, you done murder hoboed him. And then do a little happy victory dance back on the other side of Glamis. <laughs> okay. It's an effective strategy. All right, skeleton number two. He is making his way up. He really does not like Glamis. All right. Basher, you can use your... Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Blasher, you can use your... Time for me to hit. Time for you to hit. Nice. Good shit, dude. <laughs> I, I not only chop him up into pieces, I, um, I also come back in the backswing and cut his legs off as well. Yeah, you really do. You you uh, kind of knock him into the wall on the first hit, and just like on that on that back swing, you just kind of punt him across the room. You blend him and make us all smoothies. Great, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Skeleton smoothies. Skelly number six doesn't really like that. That does not make him happy. He's going to attack you. All right, Blasher, you're up again. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my second wind to heal. Um, okay. I assume I assume I'm going to I can just uh, double click, or and it will happen automatically. It should. 
I believe we coded that. There you go. Perfect. And then I'm going to hit him. Not with that roll, <laughs> you're not. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, what can I say? It sometimes, it, it doesn't, it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> All right, skeleton number eight. He's a coming around. He doesn't. Ooh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Huh. Mo it is. And he's going to take a swing at Glamis. He's going to trip over his own two feet and dig his sword into the floor. <laughs> all right, T Swizzle. They can do that all day. Yeah, you're protected by your faith right now. Yeah, that's it. Because <laughs> we're, we're in the chapel. <laughs> protected by your faith. Let's see, Firebolt. <laughs> Dang, dude, you're kind of weak there. Yeah, I mean, come on. How many ones have you rolled? It's unbelievable. I know. I'm going to change your dice color. Just saying. <laughs> I'll uh, bonus action move the uh, flaming sphere behind and bump into Scartanate. All right, roll it up. Smash. Oh, and it burns him to a little crisp. All right, Glamis. All right, we're going to go with the one, two. It seems to be working. All right. So let me just target the guy. Not with nope. the hammer, but uh, let's see your chance with this. Nice. So he's wounded. And okay. All right, root. Yeah, there's a flaming ball of fire right there in front of Lamus. What's the penalty for shooting through uh, my friends at skeleton number six? That is going to be a minus. That that's going to be a minus five. Yeah, I will hold my actions and be like, "Okay, guys, clear this up. You got this. I'm right. just going to right. take a five. All right, skeleton number six is going to continue to try to attack Blasher. He's not. Tough luck. All right, you're up, Glamis. Okay. Um, let's see. He's myself. close enough. I'm going to use my mace. Okay. All right. Slightly better. There we go. And it dies. Yes. To dispel the uh, sphere. And the hammer goes too. It's only good for that. All right, there you go. All right, <sighs> you have killed the you have killed the skeletons. Nicely done, team. 
is it time for a short rest or do we keep going? That's up to you guys. Do we get short rest? Well, if you, let's investigate the area. If you wish to take a short rest, I can allow a short rest. Oop, nope. I, nope. I have I have been corrected. There are no rests. Oh. oh okay. Nice. So um yeah, that sucks for you guys. <laughs> let's at least uh inspect the area first. Okay. All right, let's run the area and start tearing shit down. I mean, um, checking shit out. Make sure, you know, nobody else is stealing stuff. Let's let's pick up the broken seal. Oh, yeah, that's important too. So I pick up the other broken seal. Okay. All right. As you move farther into the room, wide alcoves before the before the dais are all set in uh, set with a stone sarcophagus and lit by a magical torch. Uh, the western alcove is occupied by zombies who are hunched over something on the floor between them and completely oblivious to your to your presence right now. Standing between the pillars in front of you, another statue holds another cracked seal in its hands. There is a ten foot deep dais to the north that rises about six feet off the floor. It is lit by a magical torch and is reached by a short flight of steps. A brazier stands at the center of the dais with a bas relief of a set of Kelimvor scales carved above it. Something odd about these scales, though, they're tipped to the left, where Kelimvor's symbol normally shows them in balance. There's also a large brass key set into the wall beneath the symbol. Huh. Looks like we need to go that way. Yeah. Hold on. I have an idea. Let me sneak up there and just tip the scales so they're balanced. Maybe something awesome will happen. Like in that first room, where we lit the brazier, the zombies died. That might be an idea. That's a good one. Yep, go for it. Especially since, you know, they're not paying attention to us right now. Okay. So what Sorry, would you did, like did, did me... you, did you, Can I just ask very quickly, did you say that the, the other statue that we've seen, does that have a seal as well? Both statues have a seal, yes. The one right there in front of the big pillar and the one up north between the two pillars. Okay, so we've got this, the, the, the first broken seal. We just need to get the other one as well. Well, we have to take them all, don't we? Yeah, we got to take them all. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm counting. I, th I think we've got three so far. There wouldn't perchance be a brazier in the, to the right of the uh, rogue. Would that be? To the right of me? Yeah. Or is that just a wall? That's just that's just a wall. Okay. Okay. Uh, it looks like we're on our own. Okay. So, like I said, I could attempt to stealth past zombies one, uh, five and six, or I'm sorry, four and five, and then see if I can tip the scales there. Since they're off balance. That sounds like a good plan, since All I right. can't really do any flaming balls anymore. <laughs> no more flaming balls for you. Um, stealth at half, half movement, right? Mm hmm. Okay, there's the first one. Do you want me to roll stealth for every movement I make, or...? Nope, 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 nope. nope. Just that first one. Okay. The okay. zombies definitely do not know you. Okay. Okay. 
Up, 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 up. I get, know. I can't you, go that far. No, 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 no. You get to there. You get then, to there. I need you to make me a dexterity save. Is it against a trap? Because I have it, the advantage. Thinking. It is. As you step right there, you feel a plate kind of sink down a little bit. Okay. And you take seven points. Uh, I have resistance to damage dealt by traps. Okay, so you take three points. Okay. That's not very good. Did the zombies see me? Are they alerted to my presence? Roll me another stealth check. Oh God. They do. Yeah, you um you kind of, you know make a little squealy noise when the spikes come up to poke you in the bottom of your foot. Oh god. And the zombies pick their heads up. They know you're okay. there now. Okay. Roll initiative. Everybody. I tried. <laughs> Everybody got initiative? Yep. Looks like. All right. Before we head into combat, we're going to take a 15 minute break. So I will see you back. Oh. I will see you back at 10 after the hour. Okay. Yes. Okay. All That's right. <laughs> I had a good idea. The good idea just failed me. Ah, uh, dice. It was a, stopped it. It was a good idea. It was a good idea. It's the trap. The trap did it. It's a trap. Gosh, no short rest. That's going to be tricky. How are we doing with in terms of uh, healing potions and healing spells and that kind of thing? I have one healing potion right now. Uh, don't we have that?
Alrighty, folks, it's about that time again. Welcome back. Hello. We are ready. If you're ready and you're here, please click in the box. Oh, we had a quick question. So we noticed on our What's action up? tab that we had a potion of healing with two little uses, but our inventory uh -huh. doesn't reflect potions of healing. It's there. I just didn't get a chance to put them in the inventory. Okay. But they are there. Making sure. Yep. Then I think I'm going to go ahead and pop a potion of healing. Same here. All right. I'll let you do it before before bad guys start rolling. Sorry. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot we were just starting combat. Yep. And that was very nice of you then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you hulk up while you can. Oop. I'm back, sorry. No worries. I think we're just waiting on, it looks like, Will? Yeah, that's me. I'm here. Okay, who didn't click my box? Me, sorry. Ah, there we go. Everybody's back. Yeehaw, and everybody's rolled initiative. All right. Let's get the party started. With zombie number four. He sees your pretty little face on the stairs. And he's going to eat it. No, he's not. <laughs> Thankfully. You're up, my dear. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. Action disengage. Run behind the brazier so I am obscured. And hide. Okay. And not that stealthily. Not that stealthily. You kind of knock into the brazier a little bit. Okay. I think I'm going to move and then move again. Okay. You don't have any ranged weapons or anything? No, no ranged weapons, unfortunately. Just a double-handed great axe. Okay. Zombie number five. Five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. And he's gonna try and eat your face, there, uh, Flasher. Uh, it's good. It's good that I'm wearing a helmet, so he can't get to my brain. Nope, he is not going to bash. He is not going to eat your face. T swizzle. Okay. Charge. I'll run forward and I think I will subject Zombie 5 to a flame bolt. All right. Roll it on up. Make it pretty. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Nothing but bad blood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, my turn is done. All right. Relamis. Okay. Let's see if we can 
do anything here. Um, well, keep in mind you have yourself targeted right now. That's right. Thank you. And I'll take my last five feet. Am I within range to attack that guy? Yes, yes, you are. All right, so we'll get that started then. It's a little bit of mates. a it's a little bit of a reach, but it's like seven feet, so it's a little bit of a reach, but not much. Not a full okay. reach. Good. <laughs> oh. Apparently, it is my... too far for you. Yep. It doesn't matter what die you roll. You always roll a one. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that's your wildest dreams. <laughs> All right. What do you got? That's it. All right. Zombie number five. You're going to try and eat your face again. No, he's not. All right. Rouge. Oh, they're okay. So the zombies are not paying attention to me, which is great. Um, uh, they've got bigger things that are trying to eat their faces just as much as they're trying to eat your face. Are you saying I'm small? You're a chicken nugget. They're a full size roaster. <laughs> okay, uh, zombie four. He's engaged with somebody else, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I can go up there and shank the shit out of him. You can get up there and shank the shit out of him and make me another DC 14 save. God damn it, because I touched the stupid thing. <laughs> That's a trap, right? So. It is. Advantages. Okay, you you do indeed make Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit him with the rapier and sneak attack, too, since he's with Lasher. Yes, because he's within five feet. I'm actually just going to step there now so I stop getting hurt. Take two points of damage from... Oh, nope, never mind. You take no damage from the trap. Okay. So, I'm going to step right there anyways and hit him. <gasps> and I missed. And you miss. I'm just gonna stay there because I'm so sad and pouty now. Aww. Well, zombie is zombie four <clears throat> is going. They don't really notice traps, so he is just going to walk up and stand right on it. Oh, and he does. There we go. And he will attempt to eat your face. Again. Oh, and he does. For a whopping two points. Yeah. It's he starting to hurt. You. He licks you. <laughs> I don't like it. That's even worse than getting bitten, I think. I think so, too, because, I mean, it's, like, slime and slobbery. But if he bit me, then I could turn into a zombie, too. Because that's how that works. That's how zombieisms work. Is it? I have no idea. I'm just assuming by myth. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay, you just sit on the floor and pout like me? Is that what you're doing? Pouting? A little bit, yeah. 
No, I'm not. I'm not bouncing. I'm kicking the floor. All right, tea swizzle. You missed the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just managed to kick yourself in the shin repeatedly. <laughs> Firebolt. All right, roll it on up. Very nice. Um, I don't think I've got much else I can do. There's a bonus action. I'll uh, end my turn. All right, Glamis. All right. Um, let's see here. I think Flasher can handle himself. I'm gonna go up and help Rouge. Okay. And I'm going to see. smack with my mace again. And I didn't have him targeted, so let me just. Yeah. There you go. And targeted. Roll up your name. All right. So I did something. He's he, um, he's got like a cheek flap hanging off. You can kind of see the underside of his eyeball. <laughs> okay, that'll be my turn. All right, Rouge. Okay, so now that I have support, go ahead and try to stabby stabby again. And I hit. All right, you hit him. Nice. And he falls down and does not get back up. Yeah, stay there. Impaled on spikes on the floor. Pretty much. And then I'm going to feel really awesome and I'm going to totally jump down. Right there. That's not behind the zombie. All right. And bonus actions, I can take an offhand weapon attack, right? If you have an offhand weapon, yes. I do. I have a little baby dagger. Okay, then. Go, go. Ooh. Um, probably, I think you have to remove that three, because I don't have... Yep. Right, because no he doesn't take the okay. All right, cool. So yeah, haha! I feel so powerful now. You go, go. Okay, T Swizzle, go, go. Forward. Uh, sparks fly. Sparks fly. All right, the zombie is going to continue with Flasher. Yep. Yeah, miss me. All right, Glamis. All right, let's try Sacred Flame on zombie number five. All right. And I guess I haven't targeted. Do I? Nope. Hold on. No, you do not. There we go. There we go. Oh wait, sorry, that's a it's a Dex Dex yeah. saving throw. All right. Oh no, he got it. Yeah, that's he, right. okay. he failed. He's you're good. Ah, got my buttons mixed up. And All right. There's nothing I can do elsewise, so. He's missing his jaw at this point. All right, Blasher. I'm going to move there for advantage. All right. Nice. Ooh, that's the way. There you go. Goodbye. And this one falls down and does not get back up. That's excellent. 
Okay. Okay. Did anybody grab that key that was up here? Uh, no. Oh, nor the seal either. Yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and grab the seal just because I'm carrying two of them. I might as well get get the other one. Mm -hmm. I'll be the I have, seal bearer. I have, I have the third. So I'll let I'll let you have the the other one as well. So you have all four. Okay. Okay. So I have seals one through four. According to the stream chat, we need to be swearing more. So God damn it, you motherfuckers better be saying some good shit here. We just went from a PG to a PG-13. <laughs> just so y'all know, this is not a motherfucking family-friendly stream. Y'all bitches, if yeah, you I got didn't... your kids on here, you need to get them the fuck off. Get them off. Go away. Go away. Gosh, gosh, gosh darn it, you guys. You swear so much. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Okay. Ah, fuck it. Are clerics allowed to curse? <laughs> In my games, they, they can curse as much as they motherfucking want to. <laughs> but they, but they need to lose hit points as they do. As long as you're not cursing to your god, I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah. As long right? as it's not to your god, you're fine. <laughs> so it's like fuck these heathens and fuck these zombies and fuck these exactly. skeletons. <laughs> See the rogue I just, has it. I just, I just see you like walking over their dead bodies, like crushing their their bones. Like fuck you, fuck you too. Kicking them in the shins, <laughs> stomping on their faces. Exactly. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you didn't touch me. You didn't hurt me. So yeah, you're cool. You can stay there. So okay. So did we? we did you? You ended up moving the scales, right? I know, I didn't get a chance to because I triggered the trap and then the zombies were like, hey, there's a chicken nugget up there. I'm like, oh, fuck me. Well, let's resume that then and see what happens. And Was that a brazier up uh, there or is that just a campfire? Okay, let's... Brazier. Yep, standing... Uh, um, a brazier stands on the center of the dais with a bas release of a set of Kellenvor's scales uh, carved above it. Uh, the scales are kind of tipped to the left where Kellenvor's symbol normally shows them in balance. There's a large... Whoa, whoa, hold on. You don't want to go up there yet. There's, like, the step above the stairs is trapped. I have a hurt foot because of it. <laughs> yeah. So you might want to jump over that spot. Is just just uh, that one, or... Yep, that, that one right there is the one. Thank jump you. over it. Got it. Thank you for the heads up. So we'll go that way, and we'll finish my move there. All right. Right there. And I'll, I guess I'll try to balance out the scales and light the uh, the brazier. You. I thought it was already lit. The brazier was already lit, or not? Yes. No. no the maybe. the brazier was not lit. Oh, uh, okay. The picture is just lying to me. Yeah. Liar. I feel so betrayed. <laughs> Aww. Don't don't fucking feel that way. I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> okay, who's doing what? Um, like I said, I'm gonna be balancing out the scales, tipping them back to center, and then once that's done, I will light the bridge. Okay, how how are you tipping them back to center? Um, I think that I will take um a I'll take a, a, enough candles out of my pack and put it in the off center one to kind of balance it back out. Well, it's just wanna... it's they're not like actually popped out of the wall it's just kind of like a it's a bas relief there's there it's oh, just, it's a picture oh, i see okay so i can't then it doesn't move if you were attempting to like push on them or anything like that no they do not move Something to do with the key, perhaps. Perchance. We have the key. The key was over here too, wasn't it? Nope. The key is in the center of the. Is right underneath the the bar relief. Okay. It's in the wall. So can I take? Is there like a keyhole there? It's in. It's in the wall. Oh shit. 
Okay. Hmm. But I can see it in the wall. Yeah, it's sticking out of the wall. Oh, then just turn the key then. Okay, you turn the key and in that the... was way too hard for what it should have been. <laughs> you see the the scales balance out and from further from from behind from way behind you, you hear the scraping sounds of a door opening. Okay. And then I will attempt to light the brazier. Okay. Roll me a survival. Do you want that in chat or in the tower? You can roll it right in, in chat. That's fine. Fucking damn it. That's not, might not be good enough. I don't know. No. Oh, that was a one first. <laughs> no, no. Just not. <sighs> okay. You still don't have this fire lighting thing down. No. Okay. I'll, I'll give I'll give it a go when you say I can again. <laughs> well, we're not in combat, so you can you can keep trying. Okay, so I'll just keep trying then. All right, Rouge, what are you doing? Well, since I'm tired of being up there up high, I'm going to try this little box over here. Okay. So I'm going to inspect it. Okay. You. Where the where the zombies were, you can kind of see a, a what's left of a what looks to be a cleric, and if you're looking over by the box, you, there's like a pile of tiles, and a rope that a frayed rope that kind of hangs down a little ways from the ceiling. You th huh. think this might be where the grave robbers got into the the tomb to begin with? So there's a dead cleric here. I want to loot the body. Okay. This is what you find. He has a the breast. He has a it's good breast pit plate in good condition. Um, it's in bad need of a cleaning. Underneath the body, you'll find a wet broken pouch. A, a wet pouch. Ew, he's leaking. Um. Okay, so what's inside the pouch it looks like a broken vial of some sort huh can i give it like a sniff to see if i recognize the scent or something sure roll me a medicine It smells familiar, but you can't put your finger on it. Smells good or smells bad? It's a sweeter smell. Okay. Hey, T-Swizzle, come over here and smell this. <laughs> <laughs> what, a new perfume brand for me? Okay. Actually, yeah, go ahead and put it on you. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm kidding, sort of. I'll I'll have a look at it and see if I can forget what it is. And uh, I guess we have new potential armor for Glamis here. All right. Uh, if he if he plate. wants the breastplate, he can he can have it. Um, T Swizzle, do you sniff the pouch? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll sniff the priest's pouch. Uh, give me a medicine check. <laughs> His wet pouch. Make a what check? Medicine. Me okay, you get it. <laughs> it was a healing potion. Oh. Smells Can like I sweat. <laughs> Can can I lick it up and use that for a healing oh, potion? No. <laughs> no, the Underneath pouch. the dead body. Oh, fuck, no. <laughs> if you want a potion... Rock. Hey, hey, I'm a street urchin. I've done worse. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <Wow. laughs> what? <laughs> I'll, hand, I'll hand the rogue 
I Great. my last roommate last heating. Oh, I, I have them. I'm just trying to be conservative. Oh, you do have them, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, what kind of brush play was that? Is it's um is it in the It looks like it's light it's medium armor. Yeah. Uh, so I'm wearing I'm wearing heavy. So I don't think it's gonna it's gonna benefit me at all. Yeah, I'm wearing scale. That's medium as well, so I probably won't. Fall. Um, can we do an Arcana check to see if there's anything magical about it? You most certainly can. Roll that beautiful beam. There is nothing magical about this armor. Okay. It's just um, an, it's just it's nice armor. It okay. needs to be cleaned, but you can tell it's in good condition, you know. No, I'll pass on it. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. What's up uh, next? Um, well, I think I, I want to go and see those sarcophagi in the other area. Okay. Um, Glamis, roll me a religion check. That I can do. Um, okay. So you, now that, now that everything's like, you know, out of here and the, the dead things have been, have been made dead again, you kind of feel, you feel good. You feel better. Stronger. And that goes for everybody. Taint is gone. <laughs> uh, you all can roll up to two hit dice. I'll just take it one. Ah. Feels like everything has changed. All right, so uh, let's make our way down to that other room with the lever, the lever, lever. All right, make your way down there. I get to touch the lever this time. No. Okay, so I touched the lever. Okay, both the doors open again. So this one tiny room on the top here. Anything in there? Um, a lot of spiders. Like oh, wonderful. Normal spiders? Or like giant gonna eat my face spiders? Gonna eat your face spiders. In the tiny little room right here, the closet area? Or are you talking about the big bottom room right here? No, that tiny little closet area right there. Damn. Can we can we wait for a couple to come out and then close the door and then kill them and then open like, it? And like squish them, them as they come yeah. through the door? And then exactly. You can try. Roll initiative. Uh, they're hairy spiders too. They're the they're the best kind. Aww. With the hairy legs and whatnot. All right. You're up first. Okay, I will go ahead and shoot it with my short bow. Target it and go. All right. Yeah. Gonna stand behind Glamis and hide. All 
Okay. You are well hidden. Awesome. Okay. All right. So I move there and then I can I hold my action now and, and wait for the spiders yes. to come and yes. then I, okay yes, that's what I'll do. All right, tea swizzle. Oh. Move forward and I will. Uh, can I see uh, spider number five from there? Uh, target it for me. Let's check line of sight. Yep, it looks like you can. Firebolt. Roll it up. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Okay, and it's a dead. And hold on, hold on. You, you. Now, does your. Can. Hold on, I have a question to ask. All right, there you go. Glamis. Okay. Um, then I'll move on to spider number 10. And I will cast Sacred Flame at it because I don't want to walk in the room. All right. Succeed. Nice. Once. Yeah, I mean, you've got to count how many ones you've rolled. It's unbelievable. It's like six, I think. Six or seven. I don't know. It's okay. a crazy amount. He is Time gonna... for my reaction. Okay. Operation Meat Shield Wall is in effect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And it goes away. All right, spider number six. Comes on up. And you just killed his buddy. Sorry, buddy. Not to fight you. Glamis. Right. Target this guy. I'm going to take a swing with my mace. All right. Nice. Youch. Awesome. And if there's nothing else, I'll pass my turn. Okay. Wolfie Spider. Is, he didn't like that, so he's going to skitter himself on back into the corner. You can both have an op attack. Okay. All right, let us roll that damage. And you kill him. Anything in the room? Um, you see some you see some stuff. Some stuff. Yep, okay. some stuff. Would you like to go in and kind of poke around a little bit? Because if you won't, I will. I, I think the rogue needs to go in and prod, prod around the webs. What do you say, Roge? <laughs> yes, I will go in and I will be looking all the way around, you know, for potential hazards to my health. Don't lock me in here. <laughs> no. Okay, you poke around a little bit, and what you find is in the party sheet. Ooh. Yep. Give me a second. Hold on. All right. I feel like I successfully stuffed my pockets with shiny bits. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so I come back out holding a breastplate, sword, and a potion of healing. It's like, look, I found things for you guys. No, no, no. You, you only, can have them. You only oh, came sorry. out with the short sword. The potion of healing and the breastplate were already Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, why has not already taken Okay, look, I found a sharp, pointy object. It's pretty. <laughs> it is very pretty. Uh, Anybody want it? Uh, hold on. Blasher, roll me a... Hmm. Roll me an intelligence check at advantage. Okay. You know that this is a this is a very well made uh short sword. It's probably drow like drow make kind of thing. So it is it is very, very nice. Okay. Who uses short swords in this party? I've got my hammer, but uh it looks like it's a very nice sword. Uh, yeah. I could use it. And maybe the rogue, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I have two weapons. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Ooh. 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 Bigger than the dagger. Two -handed. Well, two handed. So one dagger, one very fine short sword. Yeah, I can do that. Mm hmm. So, is there anything else besides? Um, nope, nothing else in this just room. Looking real pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I mean, like the short story is just kind of normal nope. stats for it. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. And I will take that. So, who else needs a potion of healing? That way, y'all can take it out of the party sheet. Um. Blasher, you might want to take it since you're up front and I can heal myself, so. Okay, so I'll, okay, let me take it then. All right. Um, question, the breastplate, do we, do I know the, like, because I saw the description of it, does that mean that I know about that or is that just, you don't know about that yet? The the breastplate was was what you had picked up from the mm -hmm. from the cleric in the other room. Yeah, my question was because it says that if I wear medium armor, I add plus two to my dex modifier. No, no, um, no, 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 no. If you wear medium armor, you add your dexterity modifier to a maximum of plus two. Oh, I see. To my AC. Yeah. Because I'm wearing medium armor now. Um, but there's there's a difference. Some armor has a maximum, like you can you can only have this uh, a max dex bonus of X, Y, or Z. If that's oh, the case, I see. Okay. Say you say you're wearing this and you have a dex of eighteen, which gives you a plus four. You don't get that plus four. Mm -hmm. You can only have the plus two. I gotcha. Okay, cool. I just wanted to see if I would get anything more from equipping that versus what I had, but it's the same. I already have that max two to my decks in my yeah. AC. So I'm good. Never mind. Stupid question. Right. Um let's I'll start moving down this way. I'm not too far into it. Oh there's a brazier, I think. There is a brazier. Um is there any chance I could pass There's the... also a raging zombie in the corner, and as you, as he sees you, he kind of starts. He's he's moving. Shit. Yeah. Wow. Any raging. more zombies? Any more zombies? Uh, just that one. Okay. Well, if nobody else can do anything, I'm going to attack it. So I'll wait for it. Yeah, it's, an, it's initiative time, isn't it? It is initiative time. It's the favorite is time. Oh, that's a really good initiative. 
<laughs> that's like the best one I've rolled so far. Y'all a bunch of murder hobos. For right. one, one shot. <laughs> All right, Rouge. Yep, yep. I will move right there and not do anything else. Okay. Glamis. All right. Um, I'm gonna stick back here and let him come to me. I will use my favoritest of favorites. Sacred thing. All right. I have really good saving <laughs> And I will pass my turn. So right. I will wait for for the zombie as well. When he comes, I'll bash him. Okay. All right. He's a moving. And of course, he saw Glamis first. So guess who he likes? They all love me. You're just the coolest yeah. one of us all. And he... You're the one that wrote... You're the one that rolls all the ones. That's why they love you. <laughs> and he's going to smack the crap out of you with a morning star. But okay. before that, before that, I, I get, I get yes, attack. Yes, you do. You do. Go ahead. Please, God, kill him. Kill him. <laughs> oh, no. no. Oh, wait, it hits. Oh, it still hits. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it does. All right. Shit for AC. All right. Ouch. Yeah. Did he roll to hit me? He did. Yeah, up above, he rolled a 20. Oh, yep, I see that now. T-Swizzle. All right. Moving forward. And I think I'll introduce this raging zombie to Magic Missile. All right. And I'll end my turn. All right. Rouge. This okay. thing is pissed off large and in charge and it is not happy so i'm going to go ahead and dance my way over there i'm going to smack with the rapier and then just kind of hide right back behind flasher all right <laughs> i tried to you you trip over flasher stupid dwarf <laughs> hey <laughs> All right, and then yeah, just kind of crawl back into my little spot and be like, "Okay, whatever." I didn't want to do that anyways. <laughs> Flasher. So I'm coming over here for advantage. Hi. Right. Critical. Nice. Shit, terrible heavy. rolls. And I'll move back. All right. Because I'm not busy again. All right, Glamis. All right, I'll also go with my mace with advantage since we're flanking now. Oh, no, you move back. Yep, he moved back. Yes, sorry. But you can, oh, damn. I'll, yeah, I should have I should have stayed. Do you want to stay? Yeah, yeah, I think I should have stayed, yeah. All right, we can move you right back there. All right, Thank you. Go ahead, at advantage. Nice, that's a hit. Okay. And that will be my turn. All right. Tea swizzle. Firebolt. All right. Very nice. Uh, damage isn't. Nah. I'll move back, I think. Okay. 
All right. Zombie doesn't like being hit by Blasher. That kind of, that hurt. Okay, let's see if he hits me. All right. Takes a big old swing at you with his morning star. There we go. Yeah, I can take it. Yeah. All right. Rouge. All right. So just stand over here. I'm going to try to smack him. Add advantage, please. Ooh, yeah. I He's advantage. not going anywhere. He's got the wall on the other side of him. <laughs> That's a hit. That's an out. Oh, God, he's still alive. He is still oh alive. Gosh. I'm still going to stay here, and I'm going to use offhand short sword. Okay. Still at advantage, right? Uh, yes. Nice. You hit. And, oh, well, and hold, hold, hold on. But we have to subtract that three. I should probably do that modifier, but... Oh. Is he still dying? No, no. not yet. Oh. <laughs> we know he has like three points so, left. Uh, hopefully I'm going to hit him now. Okay. And you do. And it's a crit. Good night. Yes. And he falls Yay. down. Finally. And does not stand back up. Ha! And kick you in the shin, you motherfucker. Okay. As you guys walk a, walk a little further into this room, a statue of Kelimbor with a broken seal at its feet stands along the east wall, while a brazier stands along the west wall. There's a tattered banner bearing the symbol of Kelimbor that hangs on the wall above the brazier. There's four ornate sarcophagi that stand in the corners of the room and near in an alcove uh, near the entrance. The sarcophagus in the far corner um, looks like it's kind of broken in half. Oh, that'd be easy to look into. But, um, I will wait until the brazier's lit. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm learning a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll go and get the seal and then go and give it to, uh, to Glamis while he's lighting the fire. All okay. right. So that's that's a survival check. And survival for me. Nice. Is you that... like the brazier. Yes. First time. I'm getting the hang of it. You're getting better at it. Congratulations. <laughs> you, you can light a fire. <laughs> it's not just a holy fire. <laughs> They're difficult. <laughs> and let the fight burn. So as it lights, I turn around the room. Have that. I think we're good. All right, okay. Guys. So, so you said the bottom one, bottom right, or bottom left was split open. Uh, the bottom, the one directly south of the dais. All right. So I zoom over there and start peeking in. All right. We got about an hour left, guys. Okay. Okay. And what you find is in the party sheet. Ooh. Uh reading. Boring. Symbol of form. Can I do a religion check on the devotional scrolls to see what they are, or are they just beyond reading? They they're from what you can tell, they're just like they're just devotionals. Okay. And the symbol yeah. of form is just a necklace, it doesn't do anything. No, it's just a necklace. Okay. Boring. Yeah, they're worth money. Yeah. So, uh, Glamis, go pick up the seal. Blasher, let's open up some uh, tombs to make sure there's no thieves yeah. hiding inside. So I've I've given I've I've, all, I've picked up the seal and I've given it to uh, Glamis. So if he doesn't need to run around. I'll come over and open the sarcophagi. Okay. If you're opening sarcophagi, roll me a strength check.
Okay. Um, Blasher and Rouge. Blasher does more of the work. I'm moral support. Whatever. <laughs> okay. You can do it. Cheerleader. Moldering bones in this one. There's not like any jewels or anything on the sarcophagi, are there? Nope, nope, nope. Maybe they're not that rich. Well, seeing as they're priests. Okay, you guys open this one, no issue. Moldering bones. I'm detecting a trend here. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Let's, I'm going to just leave this one alone and continue on. Yeah, it's not looking like there's anything in here. We got one more room to explore, at least, I think. To the north. Let's go north. Let's just hope there's not a second floor, because then we'd really be screwed. We'll find out. <laughs> Does anyone want to drink any potions? That might be a good idea. Okay, as you guys get up here, you notice that this northern door is now open. What? Ooh. Who did that? Oh, uh, that was the balance scales that we fiddled around with. Oh. Do, do, do. All right, so. Only... There's a lever. Beyond the door stands a small room with a lever next to another stone door, already open. Beyond that door, a set of steep stairs leads down into the darkness. Into the darkness! Uh, everybody make me a perception check. I attack the darkness. <laughs> You're such a great band. Actually, they're a horrible band. <laughs> okay, okay, Blasher and Rogue and, and Rouge will notice that this door this second door right here has been spiked open. Spiked open? Mm -hmm. Like it, like if we remove the spike, it'll probably close. Yes. So keep that in mind. Don't touch the spike, whatever you do. <laughs> what spike? Oops. <laughs> Don't trip over it either, please. I don't know. T Swizzle got a one. She might trip over it. She may very well. Okay. Let's keep moving further into this area here. Okay. This uh, initial, the initial chamber of this area holds only a pair of stone columns, but a dark hallway leads north toward a T intersection and an east west corridor. Is this where we need to have um, lanterns pulled out? No, you can, you can still, it's not like pitch black, but it's definitely dim light. Okay, because I don't have dark vision, so yeah. Okay, are um, you are you two? So you two are heading down that hallway. Yes. Uh, yeah, and I want to. Can I cast light on my shoulder, Epaulets, to kind of make it a little brighter, just to put it right on my shoulder? I believe I have the can. Yes, I do have that. So it's a little brighter than dim. All right, what's everybody's passive perception? 14. 10. Not that good. 
14. 11. Okay, uh, T-Swizzle and Rouge, you two will notice broken arrows along the south wall here. Hey guys, let's not go down that hallway just yet. Someone's been made right. a pincushion. Uh-huh. All um, right, so I'm going to use my roguey roguiness to um, inspect the hallway. All right, roll me a perception. Yeah, you don't see anything. Mm. Okay, I'm going to start walking down the hallway. Kind of flush against this wall, actually. You know what? Okay, Hold you, on. you get... Okay. I'm going to crawl. Okay. <laughs> And also searching um, traps while traveling. Okay, you get to that first little thingy right there. And then... Boom! <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I'm already like, what, a three-foot halfling or something? And then I, I, I crawl... Make myself prone, basically. You're like a foot tall. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Unless they're very thorough where the arrows are going to be hitting, you know. Is there anything more ominous than seeing the DM roll dice in the background? <laughs> the silence. <laughs> yeah. All right, T Swizzle, a bolt flies out of the wall as she starts crawling down the hallway and hits you for six points. <laughs> I shriek like a girl. I am sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm bleeding my own blood. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Probably Oops. don't. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> Oops. Uh, probably not to step on that, and I'll kind of point to that square. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> out of the, not out of the woods yet. <laughs> All right, start uh crawling along a little bit further. Okay. I get behind the pillar. Nothing happens. And one more. Or actually, I'll just keep going. Nothing happens. All the way up there. Nothing happens. Get to the wall and start checking around the area where the bolts come out of. <laughs> Roll me another perception check. And which square are you in? Uh, This one right here. Kind of catty corner from the where the bolts are. Okay, so closer. Yeah. Sorry, closer I did a little half door? step. Closer to that door. Yes. Closer to that door. Okay. So. Okay, <laughs> you find it. Awesome. There is Can a I... there is a crossbow trap right there. Lovely. Let me try to disarm it. Hmm.
Or, since there's some rocks over there, maybe I can find one the right size and jam it in there, effectively blocking bolts. Uh, you look for a way to disarm it, but you can't find one. All right, plan B. Crawling over, grabbing a rock, roughly the right size, and just jam it into the hole. Which way? That away. Okay. As you crawl underneath the trap, So, Fury, how did your party die? Oh, I triggered all the traps. <laughs> and you didn't die? Nah, I had resistance. I was a rogue. It's cool. More loot for me. Whatever. Blasher, you have two bolts go flying over each shoulder. It's good that I'm so short. It's a good thing T-Swiss will move. <laughs> exactly. I, I mean, both of you guys, I mean, you're kind of in the way. I thought you would have learned a lesson or something. We, unfortunately, believed in your ability. <laughs> <laughs> I have faith. Well, <laughs> that's the problem. And with that, I think I'll take the hit and move. Find some cover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and jump over that first five feet and just make a run down that corridor. Okay, well, what's your strength? You, uh, let's see here. Your strength is a 17. You have no issues jumping over that first five feet. Okay, and you stop there? Nothing happens. Yeah, sorry, I was talking without pressing no. the button. Yeah, so, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I duck around the corner. Okay, nothing happens. Hey, guys, I think you need to jump over that first step. It's a doozy. Um, I'll, I'll let t Swizzle go first. I want to, I don't want to by herself back here. She might, you know, who knows what will happen. Trip and break a nail. Something. <laughs> you made me bleed my own blood, bitch. Don't say anything about my nails, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's low. <laughs> um okay well the the order was to to jump over so i'll already um casting a shield in, in case i trip it but okay I'll, i will make that jump uh this is uh, just a strength yep uh no no you've got a strength of at least of of you've got a strength of eight so you can jump at least eight feet with a running okay. start I'll run and jump. Hi. And you clear it. Mm. Nothing happens. Okay. I'll follow suit, jumping over the uh, square there and stopping right next to Swizzle. Okay, nothing happens. Do we want to smash that trap, or do we want to just let it, just leave it there? It looks like as long as you avoid those squares in front of the trap and that those first five in front of the door back there, 
that it doesn't trigger. So as long as you remember to do that, if we leave, we don't have to disarm it. Um, but then Rouge is grabbing a stone. I'd really like to see if that stops it because that would just avoid the problem altogether. Yeah. Okay, now for all of you who are in this hallway, to the east, you can see that there's just, it's just a pile of rubble. It's the collapse section. It's like that collapse section of, of the temple. To the west, okay. you can see a portcullis that is already open. That doesn't build well. Uh, Blasher, since you're closest, why don't you give me a perception check. Okay. Okay, you can see that the portocollis has been spiked open as well. Okay. And you More see spikes. Yep, and you see a set of uh stone stairs leading down. And it looks like it makes a corner to the north. And you can see like the faint flickering of lights against uh, against the that wall. What do we want to do? Let's go to the Polk Palace. Do we want to check for traps on the way down the stairs? Yeah, probably. What do you say, Rouge? Uh, go for it. <laughs> Very confident. <laughs> Oh, oh! You want me to check for traps? Well, you would be the logical choice. <laughs> oh, well, I guess so. I mean, if you, if you really insist, you know, it's like you're trying to get me killed. Just do really well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to be walking down, checking for traps. Okay. As you reach the the uh that little the landing right there. Roll me a perception check. You can hear voices up ahead. They sound like they're arguing, but you can't really hear what they're they're making out. Or you can't really hear what, what they're talking about. Can't hear them making out. Okay. Exactly. You can't hear them making out. <laughs> All you can hear is the squish, squish, squish. <laughs> uh, these are the these are the grave and robbers. That's the right? voices, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. What other could be making squishy noises? Okay. So upon that, scurry over here. Be like, there's something down there. There's something down there making squishy noises. Go find out. Oh Jesus. Okay, I'll leave it. I'll go. Okay, well, I think we need both to go. It's it's obviously it's going to be the it's going to be the thieves, isn't it? The ones that came in here originally to, to steal. Oh, I mean, stuff. probably, but you know, my little three foot, you know, not even three foot halflings. Like, yeah, it's probably something bigger than me. It makes squishy noises. Yeah. I'm not cool with that. Is there a broken seal at the bottom of this this uh, statue too? There. It there is indeed. I'll grab it. And is this door open or closed? This door is open. Okay. Can I see through it? You can indeed. And directly in front of you, you can see a collapsed trap about 
15 feet across and 20 feet side to 25 feet side to side. There's a narrow ledge on the sides of the cliff. Looks like it should allow passage around the pit. Um, as you can see in the center of the chamber, there's a 20 foot high, there's a, a brazier of balance that stands unlit and there's a sealed sarcophagus you can kind of see off to the side. Okay, if I were to just make a dead run towards the brazier and try to light it, would I be able to, or would it take multiple multiple turns? Well, you you keep in mind you have that giant spike pit right in front of you. Okay. Oh, so we have to like get around it. Yeah. I see. Okay. But I have the perfect spell for this. Oh, do you? Feather, feather fall. Maybe you'll help us do our jumps. Okay. Uh, Blasher, roll me a dex check. Okay. You make it across the pit just fine. Fantastic. Oh. Low, se low center of gravity is always good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if he's going to cast Feather Fall, then I'll make a jump and try to land like right next to where Flasher is. All right, roll me a strength check on that one. Okay. Uh, you make it across, no difficulty. You're up next, Rouge. <laughs> um... Is there enough space for my little self to sidestep along this wall? Oh, yeah. Then, yeah, I will totally do that. Sidestep. Roll, me a, roll me a dex check. Ugh, you would ask for something stupid. I would. <laughs> okay. You get across just fine. It's a little slick, but you get there. Awesome. <laughs> I made it. Yay. Yay. Except Ooh, for there's now a you brazier. Cleared, you, you cleared that corner and now whoever's over there will see you. Oh, well. <laughs> and T Swizzle. Well, there's, there's no space for me to, to get past you guys yet, so I'll let you. You know what? I have a tender box. I'm going to try to like that. No, you, you, you need the special, the special tender, I think. Oh, special oh, tender. Boy. Yep. Special oh, tender shit. to find the right matches, right? Yep. That's, I got the rod and the striker that the guy gave me, so that's why I have to do it. Unfortunately. Uh -huh. um, can I cast guidance on myself? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And that basically lets me roll a d4 on my next ability mm -hmm. check, which is going to be running up here and trying to light this brazier. Okay. Hey, T Swizzle, what are you doing? Hi. Well, can we see those three people here? No. Oh, yeah. You can, you can see them. Let's try my. On the far side of the room, there's an oversized stone door. It's it's, it's closed. Um, but in the shadowed light, you can see that two figures are pacing before the door and its lever, um, including one carrying a, a big, big sword. Now, their hushed argument carries across the room. The figure with the sword seems impatient. Are you going to be there all day? Or should I just smash it open now? A figure closer to the door snarls, I'm a mage, not a rogue. These are heavy wards and strong magic keeping this door sealed. So you try then. I, I told you it's a magic seal, a third voice says. Not my thing. Wait, what's that? As she steps out and points to you guys. Bow drawn. We have company. Um, I throw my hands up and I go, greetings. Uh, we're here to light the braziers of Kelimbor. 
Who might you be? You're here to light the braziers. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. We find that it, it's a good deterrent for the undead. Mm -hmm. And I will repeat my question. Who might you guys be? I am Samalkin. The one over there is Kelyasa. And this one here is Gromlik. Greetings. I am Glamis, Lionhand. These are members of my, my team. Are you here for good or for evil? That depends. We're actually just here to get the goodies that are here. That's all we want. It's only three of you. How did you make it so far? We got skills. Except when it comes to doors, apparently. A chance we could work together. Sure, but we want to cut of the goodies. Well, I think you have to take that up with Rouge. What, what, me? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I don't do negotiations. Okay. With the terrorist. What goodies are you looking for? <laughs> if you haven't noticed, there's plenty of treasure inside these crypts. Really? Because I haven't seen anything but moldy bones. That might be why we only found moldy bones. Oh. Now, well, there's something big behind this door, and I'm, I'm guessing it's going to glitter and shine and just be oh so fantastic. Or it could be the big bad thing that the uh, this whole complex is trying to keep uh, sealed. Yeah, Blasher, that's why we might need help. So we kill it and <laughs> we take its goodies. Okay. Let me just light this brazier and then we'll see what we can do about the door. Can I roll an insight check to see if they're going to like stab us in the back or something? Yeah, oh, they ahead. probably will. Yeah, I think they'll all call bullshit on this. I mean, I believe that everybody's going to stab me in the back. Okay, no, she's serious. They, they're just here for the treasure. Okay. All right. Any change with T Swizzle's role? <laughs> Maybe a more insightful person. Yeah. I haven't shown myself yet, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll go ahead and try to light the brazier and kind of just give everybody a chance to mull over what they want to do. But I want to get this brazier lit. Okay. Oh. Survival. And then, hey, uh, look at that! You did it! Yay! Split. <laughs> okay. okay, gents. Well, we've managed to establish a safe zone from mm -hmm. the undead. Now, what's wrong with the door? We're not quite sure. It. Uh, you pull the lever, and and damn it, nothing happens. Perhaps we could be of assistance. Uh, I see that you have a maid, but we have a rogue. Maybe T Swizzle, would you mind taking a peek? Might be something magical, might be something locked. We don't know. Sure. More than welcome to. Um, I guess I will also go up and inspect the door. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I will uh, sneak around. I'll try and go around this corner there. All right. Uh, T-Swizzle, roll me a dex check. All right. You make it over with no issues. 
Would there be a way I could use, uh, if we have a rope, we could make like a rope bridge across the spikes? You could try, I guess. I'm just um, looking for a way to expedite our retreat if we have to. But I don't have any rope. Does anybody have any rope? I do. You can have mine. Okay. Um, okay. Rouge, roll me an investigation check. Okay. You, this is a pretty heavy door, but you're not seeing any glowy, glowy wards. Huh. Interesting. I will cast Detect Magic. Okay. There is no magic. Oh, and so just a big old door. They've used the lever, I'm assuming, right? Mm-hmm. And the sarcophagus on the side here, unopened or opened? Unopened. I want to go open the sarcophagus. <laughs> Lasher, I need your assistance, please. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll like to go over and, and pretend to help the other two okay. uh, and, and Blasher here, but I also like to say, didn't, the wizard say didn't, didn't she say? Yeah, about... once again, Blasher Hello? does like all the work. Didn't that wizard say that the wards protecting that door? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. No, there aren't any. So the lizard's lying. Do you want to call him out and be like, hey, you're a lying, lying face? Uh, T Swizzle, roll an arcana check. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. For a wizard, you know, you know so little about magic. Exactly, you know nothing, T Swizzle. Well, I, I cast, <laughs> you're too I cast busy thinking about your next song. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I cast detect magic. I didn't see there was any magic, but I, I guess I don't make the connection. I don't know what it means. <laughs> but I, uh, I, go ahead. Yeah, it, he, the wizard, did still lie though. Then. Yeah. How about? Um, uh, Glamis, roll me an Arcana check. You got it. Oh, so much better. With the way that brazier is flickering, it's not flickering like the other ones did. Hmm. Is it stronger or weak? Just different. Okay. Hmm. Can I inspect it using religion or kind of to figure out why it's different like actually focus on the brazier maybe tr try and light a candle <laughs> from the fire it's more it's more pulsing than it hmm. is flickering do i get the sense that something's like blocking it or uh, messing with it nope okay um so i walk up to the, the wizard and i go well, whatever you were detecting that was blocking the door, it doesn't appear to be blocking it now. Perhaps the brazier was what was needed to dispel the magic. Hmm. Um, I have a spell that can open the door then in that case. But um, I think the idea is allowing them to go first. Yes, that was the exact idea. So I want, I'll tell them, you know, it looks like it's dispelled. My wizard says that, well, not my wizard, our wizard, the wizard, however she identifies. Um, she hasn't detected an artist, an artist. She hasn't detected anything bad about the door. Why don't you give it another try to open it? And some, some Malkin will walk over and give the lever another pull. And lo and behold, do 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 do
and I'll tell them since you guys were here first. Go ahead. Okay. A low ceiling chamber holds a statue of Kelimbor in the northeast corner, with a large chest before it and a broken seal at its feet. A single ornate sarcophagus stands to the west with a dusty open book set on one of the four small plinths that surround it. A dead body sprawls before the sarcophagus, whose sides are marked with skulls and whose engraving carries an arcane flavor not seen in the previous crypts. All right. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to make it apparent we're we are deferring movement to them. They they can take a step in first. What was in the sarcophagus? Oh, the one we had opened together? Yeah, nothing. More moldy bones. bones. Moldy bones. Okay. But this one looks super fancy. So we should totally open it. That would be seal number seven. Okay. Seven is number. For those of you in the room, roll me um, either Arcana or History. Yeah, they're both shit for me. <laughs> okay. Okay, Glamis and Blasher, you will note that these engravings on the sarcophagus are Thayan in nature. From the Fae? Yep, from the Fae. Is that what you said? Okay. T H A Y. Oh, Fae. Gotcha. What does that mean for us? They're not a very good group. <laughs> you would you would know that the Red Wizards of Thay are not a very good group. Okay, so I'll share that knowledge. Our party and Samulkin and the, his party. Okay, but just out of character, the Red Wizards of Thay were they doing necromancy or demon summoning? I always forget which is what. Everything, I think. A little, little bit of both. anything bad, but as you guys breach further into the room, the lid of the sarcophagus blows off. Um, <laughs> uh, I can never get a break every <laughs> time I get close. Yeah, you, you roll, a, roll me a deck save. It's because you're Team Edward, isn't it? It's that, that's the problem. You're Team Edward, you're looking at the sarcophagi, you're trying to find a vampire, and now you found one. <laughs> I can only hope that he sparkles in the sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. I'll be right back. My pizza's here. Or skip me or whatever. Okay. You manage to dive out of the way as the lid explodes. And this pops out. Well, fuck. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Isn't it, though? Oops. Roll initiative. <laughs> Do you, you want to roll for Rouge? Yeah. We will skip her for the time being. Okay, Glamis. Okay. I know absolutely nothing about these things, so we'll just do what we always do and 
Well, attack, wing it? Con con considering the fact that it's on fire, I wouldn't attack it with fire. Uh, I don't think Sacred Flame is regular fire. It's radiant damage, so... It's okay. holy stuff, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Yes, it is. So I think I'll be okay there, but yeah, Flaming Bolt and all that good stuff, nah. Okay. Come on. Okay, sorry. I'm back. Okay, go ahead and roll initiative for me. She did. Okay, perfect. A sad little eight. Oh, why am I at a Does that count? I thought it looked like I rolled at a... No, I didn't. You rolled it at Never advantage, mind. but I don't know why. I don't, I don't have it checked. Is he prone or something? I'll... New. Let me try to re-roll. I... Still at advantage. I have something. No. I don't know. Um, if I throw myself at disadvantage, does it take away the advantage? Let's try. Do you have the advantage button? Click down on the bottom left. Nope. But I'll check the disadvantage, and that should take away at maybe. Nope. Oh. I don't understand. Do you have advantage again on bed and some other creatures that you don't know about? I would have noticed that by now. Yeah, don't undead. don't worry about it. He gets there. There, it's a thing with the guy. Oh, I see. Okay, so. I'll go ahead and roll my. Um, does he succeed? Since my first roll was a success for his saving throw. Yes. Okay. So then, let's see. Then, uh, so he takes two then. Okay. And with my movement, I will run up here and try to distract him from Rouge. Oh. And that will be um, my turn. Okay. Well, Gromlick is going to kind of move himself on down here. And uh, he's going to target the skull. And he's going to fire a heavy crossbow bolt at it. Looks like you got our damage rolls, or mine. <laughs> okay, that's the flame skull's turn. All right, since Gromlick was nice enough to actually hit it, it is going to target him. And it is going to cast a fire ray. There we go. All right, T Swizzle. Wonderful. I will target this flame skull and subject it to an icy performance of Ray of Frost. Okay, you're going to need to step into the room a little bit if you want to do that, because right now you're kind of blocked by, by the little bit of wall. No worries. There you go. All right, you hit it. Oof. And I appear to have done nothing to it. Zero damage. Mm -hmm. I will end my turn. Okay. Calistra. She's going to come right up next to uh, Rouge, and she is going to stab at it with her short sword. And 
and she's going to stab at it again. All right, Blasher. Okay, let me go up at it and have a have a bash at it. All right. All right. Advantage. Advantage. Awesome move. I always forget about that. Nice. Oh, I hit it reasonably hard. Okay, yeah, that's me did. done. Hey, Rouge. Okay, so first attack with the rapier. No. Miss. Sad face. Okay. But you have advantage though, right? Yes, uh, you do. So I didn't get myself in. Yay, Yay, better. Haha, -ha, okay. And then I will do an offhand attack instead of being a little girl and running okay. and hiding behind, you know. Nope. Does she get advantage? Yes, she does get advantage. Roll that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm forgetting that. I'm really so used to not go. having it. <laughs> Roll some damage. Did, don't you get your... um? Your uh, Oh, you get, you've done it on the rapier. Sorry, never mind. Yeah, I did the rapier first and then... Okay, there you go. Forward. All right, Smokin. He's going to kind of move himself over there. And is going to cast Magic Missile at this thing. There we go. Okay, Calistra. She's going to move over there and she's going to attack it again. Not with that. Ah, much better. All right, the flame skull goes. He does not like being attacked by her. So he is going to How can you tell the flaming skull is a he? Does it, it doesn't have any genitals. It's a he. DM says it's a he, it's a he. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. He is got going, a sloping forehead. He is going to <laughs> yeah. miss her. Oh, is that what he's going to do? Rouge. Same stuff. Okay. More stabbies and the stabby and more stab. Why don't Advantage. you roll that again and see if it's a crit? <sighs> That's right. I forget. No, it's not. Yeah, no. <laughs> but you did hit. Okay. And Aha! You, you stab it and it goes. <laughs> 
We're kind of <laughs> like a balloon. <laughs> yeah, basically. Kind of flies around the room like a balloon. Nice hit, Ruse. Did you put the treasure chest back there? No, I haven't had a chance to check the chest. I was okay. more, you know, excited about looting the dead. Of <laughs> Is there anything in the sarcophagus since it's um, Okay. What's there is there. You find 200 gold pieces. Is there a seal on the uh, on that statue? Yes. I took it. Yep. I, already, I already grabbed it. Seals okay. and fire. That's my goals. <laughs> okay. So what now? Check the chest out. That's all that was in the chest was the the two hundred. Oh, just the gold. Oh, okay. I thought that's what was in the sarcophagus. Yeah. No, the sarcophagus. The lid blew off, and the thing popped out. Dude, okay. the sarcophagus are not really looted. Okay, to the door. Is it open or closed? It is open. All right. What do we see down the hallway? You see. This the stairs leading out. All right. That's it. So. That's the end. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hooray. Is... Look at that. Anticlimactic. All right. As, <laughs> as you guys make your way up the stairs, your three newest compan the grave robbers, they kinda will see you and beat feet around the corner. Now, Doom, Doom Guide Soul Hearth is standing right up there and greets you happily upon your return. By the scales, you're back. And with the broken seals. Very well done. He beckons two younger priests to come and take the seals and then shakes each of your hands. Thank you, friends. Your efforts have saved many today. We will repair and replace the seals before any more of those foul undead escape to ravage our countryside. We are but humble priests, but please take this token of our appreciation and he hands you a bag with 20 gold pieces in it. Safe travels and may Kelimvor always keep your path in the balance. We are uh, honored by your words. Please tell everyone the story of us. Um, I want to give them a, like a quick map to where all the traps were that we found so they don't kill themselves going down there. <laughs> And okay. thanks. And that was it. That's awesome. Yeah, fantastic. I'm really glad I was waiting for like some big like you know lich or something in the back. I think that flame skull was it, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. I think the object was was like would have fought the three guys at the the three other guys it would have been a lot harder because they look pretty tough. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very um, much for running that for yeah. us. Yeah, that was great, Susie. Uh, Susie. Well, Thank you first, very much. First time for everything, so hopefully y'all had fun doing it. Oh, you, you, did, you did a great job. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. If you ever run anything again, I would be more than happy to. Oh, a lot awesome. Of fun. Yeah, me too. Otherwise, right. I'll see you on Wednesdays. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Thank you all for showing up. And to my streamers, thank you so much for watching. I had a blast. Um, come back next month for another version of me running something. We'll find out what it is. All right. Thank you. And thank you. best wishes.